Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. The movie Us uh, hits Blu-ray 4K today. I believe there's also going to be an ex exclusive steelbook out there somewhere. Not exactly sure where, but we'll find out. You know, out on our adventures today. But uh, I believe Beach Bums is another film that's being uh, released on Blu-ray and stuff today. Like a, a film with uh, Matthew McConaughey and Snoop Dogg and. Stuff like that. I think I think that's one of those movies that sort of came to theaters and went really quickly. You know what I mean? Like one of those ones that just kind of like disappeared. And I was just like, wait, why didn't even get a chance to see it in the theater? But it was already gone. You know, kind of movie. But um, yeah. Um, I had a, a before I head on out. I had a fun little night last night. Uh, I went down to this comedy club. They were having this uh, podcast recording. Uh, you know, for something called ta a podcast called Talking Tunes. And I saw that there was going to be two uh, special guests that were on the on the panel uh, that they were having there, or, you know, a discussion that they were having there. I was just like, oh, shit. I got to get down there. I want to I wanna see what they have to say. I want to, you know, you know, hear their thoughts and opinions on, you know, like their career and, and how it is to be in the industry and stuff like that. And one of those people was one of my childhood heroes, you know, growing up from, you know, the TV show uh, Reading Rainbow. He was in Roots and, you know, of course, Star Trek, which I never really got into Star Trek. I'm not going to lie. But LeVar Burton uh, was there in person there. It was cool to hear his stories and how he got started in the business and, you know, like different like, trials and tribulations he had and things, which I thought was cool. Another person that was there uh, was a was a, was like a, a child, my, one of my first childhood crushes growing up. You know, I mean, there was like, you know, Christina Ricci, Jennifer Love Hewitt and stuff. But there was also Lacey Charbert, uh, you know, who's you know from Party of Five and Mean Girls and stuff like that. She was super, super nice, super cool. Uh, you know, I, I got a chance to talk to her, uh, you know, for for a moment or two after the show. She even signed my, um, you know, Party of Five. Uh, season one DVD that I have right here. I don't know. I, I just had a fun little night I like going out there having fun doing things, but I'm done rambling Let's head on out and uh, see what kind of fun stuff we can you know find today And also there'll be a couple of DVD and blu-ray reviews at the end of this video. So let's go Well at my first stop of the day big lots. Let's head on in here and uh, see if they have anything new if they changed anything out uh, in the last like you know what two or three weeks since the last time I've been here Hopefully they have those 4Ks people kept talking about online. Well, I just made it into Big Lots over here, and it looks like they're doing, they're having a little clearance sale still, 50 to 75 percent off. But I'm gonna see if I can find anything, yeah, you know, really cooler, awesome. unique over here. Hopefully, like you know, Blu-ray wise, but you know, who knows? It's kind of looking like the same, same stuff as like the previous times that I've noticed in here, you know, like bad words, which I bought a long time ago. I still haven't even opened it or watched it yet. Obviously, if I didn't open it, I haven't watched it yet. But, you know, I don't see any, like, really, like I said, anything real different in here. So this may be, you know, kind of a bust, because I'm not seeing any, like, you know, uh, 4K or, you know, black cases or anything like that. The Wolverine in there, the Tall Man. Oh, the It Man movies, they got the double fat pack of those in here. But I'm not really seeing, you know, um, anything special in here as of yet. You know, I've already been walking around for a minute or two. do have the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. I've had the time of my life. That's, that's a good song, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really seeing much, so hopefully we do find something cool. At the next stop of the day, the local Best Buy. Let's head on in there, see if we find anything cool. I got uh, one thing over there at uh, Big Lots. Something I probably don't even really need, but I, I've been kind of interested in checking the movie out. But I'll show you guys at the end. Joseph, what are you doing out here at Best Buy, man? I curse you for not pushing carts. No. Turn back to your hell. Dude, I, I don't push carts. I clean bathrooms, man. That's what I do. Wiping out. He did a nice present for you. Nice big brown one. Thanks, Joseph. I'll see you at work, buddy. Well, guys, over here in Best Buy's, uh, you know, new release section right here, trying to see if they have anything uh, new over here. I may have to check the front display because I haven't really been seeing uh, much up here. They do have. Uh, you know, copies of Us that came out today, the new Jordan Peele uh, film. They even have the 4K and the new uh, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. And I saw some, you know, some other uh, Blue Tubers or, you know, YouTubers in the movie community get like an autographed version of it uh, by Jordan Peele from some sort of website. I don't know how, I don't, I, I don't know who to contact about that, but that was kind of cool that I saw, you know, certain cool other, you know, uh, Blue Tubers be getting this one right here. But I got the 4K uh, into review a, a week or two ago. I think I talked about it in my last hoarding up video. I thought it was 
a damn good follow-up to Get Out. I thought I, I, I mean, I enjoyed it a lot more than Get Out. Get Out was a little bit more too hyped up for me, to be honest. And another one that came out today was uh, the Scorpion King uh, being released on 4K for the first time. I'm not the biggest fan of the Scorpion King ones. I like the Mummy, but well, guys, over here at the new release rack up front over here, all they have is the copies of Us. And there's a film that came out today called Hotel Mumbai. I never heard of this film before. It looks like it's put out by Universal. Let me know down below, if, is it, have any of you guys heard of this one before? Because I haven't. Did, did, was this a theatrical release? I don't think I've seen that out there. But they only have one copy left of uh, Beach Bums. This is that film with Matthew McConaughey and Snoop Dogg I was talking about. It says Martin Lawrence too. Huh, and it says something on the back here like a big acid trip uh, of, of a movie. I heard nothing but bad things about it, but so that probably means it's going to be a movie I'm probably going to really like. Uh, to be honest with you, because I like those like really dumb, wacky, over-the-top kind of things. Something called uh, Wonder Park is another one uh, that was released today. I really have no interest in it, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just, sometimes I'm just like, eh, don't care. And this is another the other one that came out today uh, with, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Kurt Russell and stuff and uh, Luke Helmsworth. But I don't know if I've seen a trailer for this or not. I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna have to look that one up before I'm not just gonna you know straight up buy it, but this one right here I am kind of interested in checking out though. Well, getting out of uh, Best Buy right now, I'm still thinking about maybe getting beach bums, maybe at another uh, location, but because it looks like a movie I might, I might I might enjoy, or it might just be a complete and utter piece of shit. Because a lot of these new movies these days, they don't really super impress me and stuff. Over at my next stop of the day. Target, baby. Let's head on in here, see if they have any exclusives for us. Because Best Buy had that steel book. Are they gonna have like a digi book? Who knows? I'm, I'm guessing not though. Well, let's go and find out anyway. Well, made it in the Target right now, looking at their new release section that they have. Of course, they have the Jordan Peele's Us film. It doesn't look like there's a any exclusive edition of it here, just the Best Buy steel book and everything. And it looks like they only have the DVD version of uh, Beach Bum uh, <laughs> over here, I guess. Best Buy has one Blu-ray and, you know, Target has the DVDs of it. And of course, Ho Hotel Mumbai, Under the Silver Lake is another one that came out today. I believe there's a Blu-ray release of this film. I, I got this one to review a about a week ago or so. I still haven't got a chance to, to check it out yet. It's been, been kind of busy lately. But uh, I'll, be, I'll be reviewing and talking about this one uh, at the end of this video today, uh, Five Feet Apart. Stay tuned for that at the end of the video. And this one came out today too. Uh, I'm, I, don't, I don't even want to try to pronounce this and, and butcher that name, but it's a part two, I guess, of a franchise. But I, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Have any of you guys, if you guys know what this one is? And I believe this one also came out today. I almost forgot uh, the complete second season of uh, Killing Eve. Uh, I've never seen the show before, but I heard a lot of really good things about it. Uh, what's the, I keep forgetting the lady's name. I keep When I see her, I always think of Christina Yang, you know, from uh, Grey's Anatomy, but I heard really really good uh things about this show but i haven't yet to yet yet to check it out and i'm definitely not just going to start with you know season two but right next to that uh was uh the complete second season of the revival show of will and grace uh was another one that was released today always really liked you know will and grace back in the day i watched uh, the the first season of the you know the revival show thought was really cool so uh, I, I think I may be getting like a review copy in of, of, of this season uh, in the next couple days. So I may have a review of it uh, in my next hoarding up video. But there's also, I believe, a Blu-ray version of this out there on that, mo that uh, website called MovieZing.com. If you guys want to get like, you know, Blu-ray Blu copies of those. Well, guys, at the last stop of the day, the local Walmart. Well, guys, in Walmart right now, and it looks like they have their own little... You know retro tea section the same things that target had a a few months ago you know with um you know exclusive vhs covers you know boxes and stuff but they come with those you know funko pop you know t-shirts like you know related to the movie like you know ridgemont high uh, t-shirts right here they also have one for the big lebowski uh right over here with the dude on it like i said these are cheaply made shirts that kind of feel real itchy and like i don't know how to explain it but they have like delta force and you know animal house and et a lot of these ones were you know already at like you know a target like a couple of months ago some of them have not been like i don't think i've seen the back to the future one before but over here they're 1488 they have a jaws and et and things like that that's kind of cool but when it comes to the new releases over here it's pretty much the same shit that they have at the uh, the other stores but this i'm only gonna point out the ones that i haven't seen yet like lady miserable that was uh, put out by uh, pbs 
and everything like that. I think this this one looks actually kind of cool. I always I like the Les Miserables story, and they also have uh, this new WWE DVD called Tish and Lita, uh, best friends and better uh, better rivals. I don't know if this is just matches or like a documentary and stuff. If it's a documentary, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Then I, I may have to get up on this. But these are some of the some of the two that you know. Um, I haven't seen at the other stores already. But the only other thing that's different over here is that they have the Wonder Park and their own little Walmart exclusive that comes with like a little plushy toy of one of the, uh, you know, um, characters in the film. Like I said, I'm, for some reason, I'm not really interested in watching this. Will, will I like it, guys? Like, you, if you guys know me, would I get a kick out of this or no? So I'm still in Walmart, didn't find anything in the movie section, but there is something that I heard was released that I've been, I, you know, I've been on the hunt for, trying to find it for a while. But I have to check the frozen food section to see if they have it, because all the other different places I've been to throughout the last couple weeks don't, haven't carried it. But if this one does, I hope they do, because I want to get, get my hands on it, so I have to check. Let's go. Oh, hell yes, guys. Hell yes. They have them. They have them. The Nickelodeon Slime Pops, baby. Yoink. Is that a Walmart right now? And I had to get some of that Nickelodeon Slime Pops, baby. Let's get on home. Uh, I'll try one of these out. Just got back home from hoarding up and everything. The only DVD I found out there, I'm here with my mom, uh, was uh, Phoenix Forgotten uh, over there at Big Lots. Got it for three dollars. Kind of, kind of been interested in checking it out, but I don't want to spend, you know, too much for it. You know what I mean? Because if it sucks, I can just kind of, you know, get rid of it. But look, mom, look what I got. Bam! Nickelodeon hey, slime hey. pops. All right, there you, you know, go. So like, I'm gonna bust one open. I just want, I just want to try one out just for the hell of it, man. You know, Nickelodeon style, baby. You know, I saw my my homeboy Phil Moore uh, post up a picture of one of these on his Instagram. Let's open, let's open one up right here and see what it looks like. Ooh, look at that! It's all green and orange. It's like slime infused, infused into this ice cream. Let's tr let's try this out right here. It's 110 calories a bar. It says. This is all that. This is all that. Mmm. Check it out. Yeah, this is all in celebration, I believe, of probably the, you know, the revival of all that being put out on Nickelodeon. And, you know, all this, you know, all you know, 90s nostalgia and stuff. But really kind of cool to get like a Nickelodeon slime infused ice cream. <laughs> you want to try a Nickelodeon slime pop? I'm good. Thank you. But you, you remember back in the day how I used to watch Nickelodeon all the time, and oh, I, my, one of my dreams is always to get, I wanted to get slimed. I know, well there you go. Well, listen, I'm not really getting slimed with this, but you know, I always like get a bucket, push, pour it on my head or something. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of cool mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, you know, at least Walmart has it, you know, this Nickelodeon slime pops, but that's kind of cool. Hell yeah. But guys, let's head upstairs for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. All right, just finished my slime pop right there. Now on to the review portion of this video here. I have a small stack of things to talk to you guys about today, so let's get started with it. The first well, the first two up, actually, are from uh, Disney uh, Home Entertainment, and uh, they sent on over a copy of the 4K edition of the new Dumbo film, the live-action one, uh, you know, directed by Tim Burton and starring, you know, a whole bunch of people like Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito or, or just some of the people that are in this cast. And uh, you, if you guys already know the story of Dumbo, you know, uh, a little, a little, uh, you know, elephant that has bigger ears than normal that, you know, can fly, and uh, you know, is, is is part of this, you know, traveling circus, and you know, just you know what happens along the way and how he loses his, um, you know, his mother, at, you know, at the beginning of this movie, and how he tries to, you know overcome his differences you know if you will um i really like this uh this, this this vision that tim burton had you know for this movie but at the same time i can totally see why that i can totally see why it didn't do that well you know at the box office because i don't think dumbo has ever been one of the most popular you know animated films out there i mean it's, it's beloved and a lot of people like it but it's sure as hell not like Aladdin or, uh, you know, like Beauty and the Beast and, you know, stuff like that. Like big mainstays and stuff like ones people always, you know, say that's my favorite of the of the Disney, you know, animated films or anything like that. I'm sure I'm sure it is for some people, but like I, I always kind of liked it, but I've never been like the biggest fan of Dum of the, the whole Dumbo c of character, or, you know, the, the movie and stuff. I like it, but I'm not like in love with it. Like I like, you know, Little Mermaid and things like that. 
but uh, I kind of liked it. They had had a really unique vision in here. Uh, if you guys like Tim Burton films, you're gonna get that same kind of you know darkish, creepy vibe uh, you know to it, which I I, I always enjoy from his films. Uh, the acting here is, is uh, really decent. The picture quality on this is absolutely amazing on 4K. Just beautifully shot scene sequences, beautifully, you know, just just beautifully crafted all, all the way around when it when it comes to the look and feel of this film. Uh, I, I I would give it like what like a six out of ten, you know, mo movie wise. Um, but it does have uh, some uh, bloopers in here. I went over the cast and crew were, like you know goofing up on their lines, some deleted scenes and a behind the scenes making of uh, feature at talking to the, some of the cast and crew and stuff, talking about the making of. You know this live action uh, classic right here, or remaking, you know, a cartoon and make it into a live action, which I thought that was cool. Uh, you know that they added on here. But you guys, let me know your your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you guys like this movie? Uh, when you if you guys saw it in theaters, you know, or did you like Aladdin more? So are you are you looking forward to a different other? you know, live action adaptations of uh, Disney animated films. Like, what, which one are you, which one are you wait, waiting for? And which one did you like the most that you've seen so far? Let me know down below in the comments. But this one wasn't horrible, but it, it was, it's pretty decent. And uh, next up over here, and I believe that one comes out uh, next week, uh, next Tuesday. And I believe like, uh, you know, Best Buy and stuff is gonna have, um, like, you know, different exclusive editions. Like Best Buy, I believe, might have like a steel book and, you know, Target's gonna have like their Digibook edition. The same thing when it comes to this right here. And this is the new anniversary edition of uh, Cinderella here on uh, Blu-ray and, uh, you know, DVD digital copy combo pack. Uh, I believe that's part of their signature, signature line. Um, you know, classic Disney story, you know, classic, you know, princess Disney story. And uh, when, th when this movie came out back in the day, uh, it came out when Disney, you know, Disney Studios was not doing so well. You know, the only really big hit they really had, you know, was uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. They, they, they have put, they put out some other movies, you know, uh, that, uh, like Fantasia and things like that, that, you know, were great movies, like, we all like them, but they didn't really make Disney, you know, a lot of money back in return. They made, they made their money back, in, you know, from the make, the making of the movie, but they never, it never, like, you know, went kaboom, you know what I mean, like, like Snow White did and things, so they kind of went back to the same formula of, like, you know, their Disney princesses, and just to see what happens, and bam, Disney was back on the map again, you know, a, you know after, like, a, like, a handful of years or, like, a decade of, like, not really doing that well and working on their own little, you know, like, war films for, like, the, you know, the war that was happening back then, you know, they were, like, making little animated shorts and, like, you know, playing them for, for people, and that, that was, that was, like, their main business at the time. And then, you know, this came around and, you know, gave them another resurgence uh, around this time. But uh, I, the picture quality on this is pretty decent. But the sad, the sad thing is if you already have uh, the previous Blu-ray that was released ahead, like what, five, six years ago, it's pretty much all the same special features that are that are on here that are uh, you know on, on the la on the other release of the film except for like one bonus feature that's on here where like some Nickelodeon stars or, or you know Disney stars of today you know just talking about like different little uh, trivia about uh, you know Cinderella and stuff so it's not really a real needed upgrade unless you just want like a like a new cool cover and things but it it look, does look nice and sound nice here on uh, on Blu-ray but it's, it's essentially the same release as the, the previous one just minus the, the cover and stuff but uh, next up over here I got from moviezing.com and uh, that's a website where you go and you you know uh, you know they burn you buy it and then they burn it on demand and send it to you and stuff and this movie right here stars Albert Brooks and Jeff Bridges and Sharon Stone and that is the Muse. Uh, here on for the fir for the first time on Blu-ray, it's pretty much about this one writer played by uh, Albert Brooks, uh, who uh, you know who's a writer in Hollywood, and now you know he's he's doing really good. He's like being nominated for like you know humanitarian awards and stuff like that, and you know doing doing really well, until his 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 head guy at the studio says, hey, the last handful of scripts you've been turning in, they're not that great anymore. We want you to kind of like you know go away, dis dis disappear. And he's like, wait, what? What? So now he pretty much doesn't have a job right now. And he's trying to, like, come up with, like, a really cool story to come back, you know, to make a big comeback again. And uh, he finds out from one of his best friends about this one lady that's, uh, that's a muse. And uh, to help, maybe that, maybe that can help him, you know, uh, revitalize his, you know, revitalize his career 
but he has to like pour all this money into her and like put her up in the fancy hotels and you know she's played by of course Sharon Stone uh, it's actually a, a really fun uh, movie I like pretty much anything with Albert Brooks in there he, he's always he's always just a, a really uh, you know fun actor to watch but uh, that's uh, the muse right here look it up online look, look up the trailer it's actually a really entertaining movie and it's cool to finally get it on blu-ray uh, from moviezing.com and the next two up right here the last two I got from Lionsgate Home Entertainment and the, the, the one right here um, is a movie that I didn't really know much about and I uh, just like looking at the cover and like reading the reading the back a little bit, I, I was really interested because when I went into this, I didn't see the I didn't see a trailer to it, I didn't know really know that much about it, and I was just like, you know what, I want to check this one out. So I got five feet, five feet apart here on Blu-ray. It's about um, these people that are suffering from uh, cystic fibrosis, fi cystic fibrosis, or I can't even say it right. It's so, it's like a it's something that has to do with their lungs and like um, they're pretty much they're. They have to like pretty much stay bed bound or stay in a hotel and not a hotel but in the hospital and they can't be within you know uh, five or six feet of one another and if they if they do something bad could happen like they can die you know like right away and different things and there's some people in there that are waiting for like lung transplants and and, and stuff like that but then it, then in this movie it follows these different you know young people uh, that are in, in in this hospital and uh, how the how two of them kind of, you know, you know, start to fall in love with one another, but yet they can't, you know, they can't get within, you know, six feet of one another because they're always, they're always told by the doctors, you guys must stay six feet apart. You know, they, they, they kept saying that throughout the, you know, throughout the film, six feet apart guys. Okay. Six feet apart. And then when I was watching the movie, I'm like, then why the hell are they calling it five feet apart? I was just going, wait, what? Why do they keep saying six feet? It's annoying me because the movie's called Five Feet Apart. But then if you watch the movie, you come to find out what five feet apart, you know, five feet apart means and, and stuff like that. But it, it was actually a really cute movie. It's one of those ones you kind of know what's going to happen, uh, you know, when you're watching it, you know, a teen, teen drama movie. But, like, I, 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 I did enjoy it. I, I thought it was uh, really well acted and... Just, just a nicely put together, nice, nicely put together film. And if you guys love, you know, like teen drama movies, I think you guys might uh, really like this one. It has audio commentary, some behind the scenes, and alternate endings on here. Really, really nice put together film. But this last one right here uh, really wasn't that great. It has perfect, perfectly great actors in here, but it just wasn't executed very well. And uh, that is called *The Poison Rose*. Uh, here on Blu-ray starring uh, John Travolta and Morgan Freeman. Uh, in this film, uh, John Travolta plays this private investigator who's, like, you know, um, sent to go to the, go to this old town that he used to live in, you know, to try to find, the, try to find a certain person, and in the meantime, his, his past kind of come, you know, comes up, and, uh, he's trying to find, uh, you know, like, another certain person when he's there, and, uh, he can't find this person, and Morgan Freeman's character is kind of like the bad guy of the town, trying to, like, keep everyone, shh, quiet, don't, don't mess anything up for us and it's just like you know the how it all kind of unravels and you know stuff it was just a, a real mess a messy messy movie great actors just just not not really that enjoyable to watch it was just kind of like really really mediocre and i could see why it didn't it kind of went to theaters for a little bit and then went straight to you know quickly to you know uh, you know video on demand and dvd and stuff you know really really wasn't that great i i didn't like it whatsoever but uh, guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today. If you guys enjoy my videos, please share them around on your social media sites. Let your friends and family know uh, about my channel here. Give this video a thumbs up. Give, actually, give any of my videos a thumbs up if you guys watch. Drop a comment down below letting me know how you guys are doing. And I'll see you guys all for the next adventure. Thank you so much for watching and supporting.